Welcome back to Vancouver Carpenter. So how do you close up a gap in plank flooring? So it's pretty simple and this is a pretty cool little trick that actually the owner of this job put me on to. So I've never actually had to do it this way, but it's smart. So what you need is a hammer, a chunk of two by four. You will want a knife, maybe even a carpet knife because it'll really get into the grooves but you can probably get it done just with a knife double-sided carpet tape pro tip if you keep it in the bag if you keep actually all your tapes in a ziploc bag the adhesive won't dry out what else do we have here oh that's about it it doesn't hurt to have one of these floorboard installers though this one is good for getting right in at the ends if the baseboard isn't covering it already and um, I don't know if they actually come with these little carpet pads on here or not, but if you put them on, you're not going to scrape up the floor as it moves around. So this one's for getting right into the edge and being able to actually hit it. Anyways, let's get right to this one. And you may have already figured out what you're going to do, but let me just show you anyways. So the first thing you want to do is clean it out. And that's where either this guy comes in handy. So this one does have a whole bunch of dust and debris in here. I can see it. So right now I'm just making sure that none of it is actually like stuck in any grooves. I'm just loosening up anything that could be stuck in there. And once you do that, you want to vacuum it out. Okay, next, here's where the magic comes into play. So double-sided carpet tape. Throw a little chunk on here. And this stuff really sticks, like really sticks. So one thing I didn't mention is you might want a glazier's bar, a flat bar to pry this thing up with after because it really gets stuck to the floor. So you pull off this and you got some double-sided tape. Just plunk that down there like that. And you can put your foot on it, but basically now we can just hit it with the hammer. So that one's super nice and closed up now. Yeah, it was easy peasy. So now, of course, we have to take this thing off. And like I said, it's like, it's stuck. So that's where I take the flat bar and get it pretty far under. Because if you don't, if you only have it under about a half an inch and then you lift up, you might super scrape your floor. And honestly, if you're doing this on wood flooring, um, not either uh, luxury vinyl plank or laminate. You might actually scratch it pretty good anyways with this bar, so you want to be careful. And it's still stuck on there, so I can use it on some other spots if I want to try it too. Okay, so suppose you have one that is smaller than the length of your 2x4. So what you can do in that case is you can take a little strip of tape that's a little bit skinnier than the width of the plank. after you vacuumed it out, of course. And then you can put this here. And that's where this one comes in handy. So it hooks on right here, put your foot right there. And now you can hammer. So we managed to get that one closed up. So suppose you have something that's even smaller. Maybe you've got one of those horrible little strips that's only about an inch or so. I do have a solution for that, although I don't have one that I can show you. So theoretically, in that situation, maybe you have one that's just about that wide. So what I would do in that case is get maybe about a three quarter or one inch strip of wood, put the tape across it, and get it as close as you can to there. At that point, what you're going to want is you're going to want something like this. And again, something like this. And so what you can do at that point is maybe it's kind of too hard to actually hit this. But sometimes what you can do is you can just twist this until it puts a bunch of pressure on the wood. So twist that a little bit and then even just bang on the wood or bang on this thing but sometimes even just the vibration alone 
plus the tension that you're putting on there will be enough to slide over one of those real little pieces. So there's a lot of ways to go about it. And it's all about just applying force from a different direction or applying leverage in a different way that you didn't think about previously. The reason I put this flat bar back here, by the way, is so that I don't damage either the baseboard or the drywall when I start prying on it. So that part's actually really important. You wanna have something back here that protects the baseboard. And that's it, you guys. It's just a quick little tip to help you get those floorboards back together so you can have a little more peace of mind. Hopefully this video uh, helped you out. If, again, if you're looking for any of those tools, check the description below. And if you haven't already, I'm gonna encourage you to hit that like button. It helps me out. So also, thanks for watching. Um, this is the part where I'm just gonna stop and take off and probably film the next video. Till the next one, you guys. Hope you're doing well out there and I hope your project's going well.